Jan, and Jan has something on, on your neck. Okay, right there. Right there. So we're gonna take a look at it. And oh, oh, right there. Oh my. <laughs> yes, there is something to look at. I'm trying to get it to move. You mean you think it's alive? Well, usually they are. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. So what I'm, uh, what I'm noticing when I put, does that hurt? Oh, it hurts. Yeah, that's what I noticed when I... It has... Got up. A black thorax with a, a reddish-brownish abdomen. It is a tick. An eight-legged eight -legged critter. Did it come off my dog? Last night I was... Well, I, I mean, it's... You know, you live in the woods and you kind of don't know. But uh, I've never had a tick before, but I was... My dog was real lovey last my german shepherd last <laughs> night and i was petting him and hugging him and maybe something came off of him i don't know all sorts of ways that people recommend removing ticks uh, but the best is slow steady traction hmm. some people will uh, try to get a fire lit close to them because mm -hmm. uh, they back out yeah that's that's not recommended that oh has more potential for injury and success. Am I hurting you? Mm -mm. So I'm doing the slow, steady traction. And I'm not convinced that it was alive. Now what happened? Did it break or did I just lose my grip on it? I think I just lost my grip on it. So I want to get as much surface area overlapped as possible with whatever I'm grabbing it with. So that we get the least chance of it. Maybe I think it slipped a little bit when I grabbed it again. Okay. It's out? Something's out. That's all there is to that thing? <laughs> You're kidding. That's that little things. tiny thing caused you all that trouble. They're small. So oh it, my gosh. I, I, was I, about, I was thinking they were about like that big. Well, the, the ones your dogs get often are. Oh, but this okay. is more like the type, the deer tip type. Okay. That uh, are the ones that you're concerned about for possibility of carrying uh, Lyme disease. So okay. we're going to get tested. Okay. Now, many people watch the video and go, oh, there's a rash or there's a red mm -hmm. ring or something and say that that's Lyme. No. That's not necessarily. That can be just reaction to the local irritation of the of the tick. Okay. Uh, we're looking for an expanding uh, ring with a central clearing. Okay. So we're going to keep an eye on that, but we're going to we're going to send the tick and get it tested for Lyme because okay. it is the right species for it. Uh, Exotis pacificus is the the name of it, and I'm going to look right here. How long will it take to get the test results? Um, I think we have them by, by a week, which okay. is plenty of time for test, for uh, treatment. Okay. You want to get treatment started within a couple weeks. And I can't see any evidence of a head being left in there. So there's no treatment locally. There's no antibiotics to start with at, okay. at this point. Uh, what we want to look out for, especially though, is an expanding ring. Okay. And also look out for joint aches. Okay. Or other symptoms in other parts of the body, not just right here locally, but if you were to have any um, paralysis or paresis, if, if you start to have weakness of, of fingers, toes, one side of the face, anything like that, okay. you need to know. Okay. Um, because that can be uh, associated with Lyme disease, which okay. is what we'd be most concerned about. Lyme disease coming in a, a primary form, a secondary form, a tertiary form. And the, the earliest that you usually have is a, a flu-like illness associated with joint aches. Okay. And then after that goes away, the secondary, which can include both neurologic and heart problems, and it's harder to treat. So you want to make sure you get treated early. Um, but we wouldn't use antibiotics right away. We'd, okay. We'd, we'd wait first and, and have some right. of the show. So thank you so much for sharing with, sure. with everybody. I also thank um, my friends that helped make these possible, Boo Boo Kitty and Lindsay Antoine. Thank you. They're our matrons that help pay for the equipment. So thanks again, Jan. Thank you. And until next time, Dr. Mark Vaughn, Jan, telling all of you to stay in good health. Okay. <laughs> you, you're ready.
to go. You're done. Yeah. She's done with it's that gone. Mitzvah. Also, want to let everybody uh, click on the link to follow to look at the Kickstarter that we have. That's part of one of the m movie things we do here.